What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei back with another Unreal Engine action RPG video. So in today's episode we are going to be continuing working on the lock-on system so that the camera also locks on to the enemy. So if we sprint to the enemy and we try to lock on, you can see that, I mean this is a preview, this is what we are going to do. You cannot move the camera away from the enemy. You can slightly move it, but you can't do it too much because, you know, you have to stay locked down to the enemy. So I gave the players the choice to uh, to stay, like to move it, but not move it entirely. And if we walk out of the enemy zone, the camera goes back to normal. Or if we lock out also, lock off, yeah, the camera just goes back to normal. So yeah, well, this is what we are going to be doing in today's video and maybe in the next few ones we can do multiple enemies like switching targets. And before we start, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because, you know, I have a lot of awesome tutorials so check them out, check out the channel and subscribe because we are on the goal to 20,000 subscribers. And I want a super special thank my precious patrons who will be receiving the project files updated today with this video so they're gonna get this version of the game we basically want to lock the camera onto the enemy we want it to rotate towards the enemy but the location stays behind the player's back it's gonna be like very simple today so don't you worry about that we are only going to open the bp base and we are going to work on the lock-on system that we already have so we have two places where we did the lock-on the first one was in the combat graph this is what happens when you press the lock on button. We lock, like we determine the locked onto enemy. And this is not where we do the camera thing because the camera, we want it to update every uh, second or so, or even less than a second. So we are going to be doing this in the event tick. We are going to be rotating the camera every single tick. So yeah, it's going to be simple. This is where we do the lock on rotation, where we rotate the character, like we keep the character rotated towards the enemy's direction. I'm not gonna mess with this part either. I'm gonna do it after we do this, so it's gonna be its own node. This, I'm gonna rename it to lock on rotation. Yeah, that way is better. And we are gonna be doing the rest over here. So what we want to do is basically we want to calculate the rotation that we need for the camera based on the locked onto's rotation depending on where we are. It's not going to be very simple to understand but it's very easy to make. So first thing after we do the lock on rotation we want to continue and to set control rotation. Actually, no, we, we can't get it from here. We have to get controller first. So get controller, set control rotation, and you just connect it here. And basically, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. It has to be connected like this. Yeah, basically, this is all we need to do for now, like regarding the nodes themselves. Now all we need to do is get the actual new rotation that we want to make. So first, I wanted to let you know that this system that I'm about to make, it actually works on any lock-on system if you have one, as long as it determines the locked onto, who you are locked onto or the locked onto enemy as a variable. So if you have the variable that like if you have your own lock-on system and you want to um, make it, make this camera rotation, you need to have the locked onto variable or, you know, a variable based on whoever you are locked onto. So you get locked onto and you get the follow camera. And the locked onto, we are going to get the actor location because we want to figure out where it is located so get actor location we get the enemy's location and we get the world location of the follow camera 
then we are gonna find look at rotation as you can see the start is the follow camera and the target is the uh, locked onto then we are gonna r interp 2 basically this is the actual rotation part i mean the smoothness of it so over here the target is the find look at rotation and the current is we are going to get the control rotation of the controller so get control rotation then we are going to connect this one to the r interp and for the delta time we are going to get world delta seconds the uh, the interp speed is how fast you like how fast the camera moves to to the enemy when you lock onto them so for the one i showed you it was actually 10 i'm gonna show you with five first and then we are gonna change it after we make sure that it's working because you know i want to show you different speeds and i want to move this farther which is the set control rotation maybe i can add like a uh, like this and make it more organized as you can see yeah for now i'm just gonna stick with this yeah we also want to get based on the control rotation we want to break rotator and we also need another one over here so after we are interp we broke the break the rotator and we also want to make rotator basically it's very very similar to the system over here in the uh, lock on uh, you know the, the lock on uh, rotation for the character himself over here i actually think i need to make the r interp speed to two i guess or something because you know oh what did i do what did i do yeah oh yeah okay it's over here yeah this wasn't finished but yeah i changed the uh rotation speed of the character them themselves to make it faster because currently the lock on is very slow but yeah, you want to connect the Z to the Z over here, which is uh, based on those two. And then the X and Y over here. And the return value goes over here. And now if we press compile and hit play. And now if we go to the enemy to see if it's working. You can see that it actually works impossible and the speed is actually also nice but if you want to make the camera rotate faster all you have to do is change this one so you can actually promote it to a variable and make it public so that you can change it from the outside but i don't think i need to do it yet because you know i don't want to complicate stuff yet but yeah you can go with 10 i guess or 8 is a good um, number and if you press play and try again and go to the enemy and we lock on you can see that it's much harder to rotate it now so yeah based on that you can make it more stiff which is also like something very good it depends on what you want but yeah i think it's great now and one last thing i actually want to do is i'm gonna go to the bp base and organize it for a bit i'm gonna collapse them all into into a node just like this so we can just select them all right click collapse nodes and we are gonna call it um lock on camera so just type in lock on camera 
And now we have lock on rotation and lock on camera. Hey, why is this here? One moment. Yeah, we don't need this. So just like this. Yeah, we have lock on rotation and lock on camera. So I'm just gonna compile and now everything's great. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this target thing for the lock on on the enemy. So when you are locked onto them, this target indicator or this reticle, I think that's what it's, what it's called. Yeah, I'm going to add that next time. So please look forward to the next video where we are going to do that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was useful. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And super special thanks to my patrons. You are very precious and I really love you. And yeah, guys, I will see you next time. Take care, have a great day and bye.